All right, hello everybody. This is Vince with Green Joe Coffee. Yay. And uh, today I'm going to be covering a question, a question I kind of get a lot, um, actually about a, a espresso machines and whether or not to get a two group versus a one group or, you know, kind of a larger commercial espresso machine versus a smaller commercial or the high end of a household espresso machine. And uh, so ultimately this one, both have drawbacks and both have some positive aspects to it. And um, knowing what I know now, I think maybe I might have made different decisions than I made it in, in the beginning. Um, but, you know, it just kind of ultimately depends on what you're trying to shoot for. So let me go over both of them and then you know in the end you gotta look at your situation make up your mind with what kind of thing you think you want to do most so a two group um, is gonna have two typically it's gonna have one larger boiler right um, you're gonna be dealing with two group heads um, which will allow you to draw uh, more espresso than once the larger boiler is gonna give you more steam output faster steam output uh, in which you're going to be able to put a lot more lattes out. Um, now, the negative to that, of course, is you're going to have it's going to require more power. Uh, you you got a bigger machine, it's a bigger generator. It's going to be heavier. Um, so that's kind of what you get with a two group uh, machine. Um, so the nice part about a two group machine is if you're doing festivals, anything that involves a crowd, where you're doing transactions per hour. Um, it's it's good. Its output's going to be better than than anything else. You're you're going to run way more transactions per hour. Um, in you know the bottlenecking will happen at the at the barista when when you're running that type of thing. It's not the transactions. Your cashiers are faster than you are. It's not the machine. Your machine's faster than you are. The bottlenecking will will be the barista. And so um, you know having two groups and being able to work side by side with someone. Um, will allow you to put double the amount of output and you're going to run a lot more transactions per hour um, than someone that just had a smaller machine, a one group. Um, so I think in that type of situation, you can't beat a two group machine. Now, uh, that's what I originally started off with was a two group. I have an Astoria Divina two group and it's it's a beast. It's just a war, a war hog. It, it, its output is way more than I am. Um, now the negative to that is is to run a machine like that, you're not going to get that solar power. So just get that out. Um, you're not going to get good output from a machine like that on propane. That's going to be 220 circuit generator, and that's going to be loud and it's going to be heavy. So you're going to have to figure out a way to either mount this to your truck where it's there permanently, or you're going to have to load this on and off your truck. And that can be a headache at 4.30 in the morning on a day-by-day -day basis. Um, so that's something to think about. Also, you, when you got a machine like that, there's no plugging in to shore power. It's very rare that you're going to find uh, some place that will be able to generate that power unless, you know, you just happen to get lucky. Um, so it kind of erases some of your versatility. You're, you're not able to get into uh, as many places. Um, so things like catering, uh, doing catering events like weddings and corporate events, you're going to be limited on those. Um, so where you, you make more money on transactions per hour, uh, you're not going to be as versatile on catering events where you're doing um, kind of a set price. Uh, now, a one-group machine uh, will give you that versatility. That's going to allow you to get indoors, right? They're smaller machines. They're typically 120 power, so you can just plug in any outlet that's 15 to 20 amps. You're good to go there. Um, and so it allows you to do a lot more versatility as, as opposed to the larger machine. Um, uh, when I first started off, I had the two group, but now I have one group. I have both now. And the one group, is it's great. We've used it on like some of these swim meets where the swimming's happening indoors, and we've just brought the machine in there and 
We've gotten closer to the people, and anyone that knows coffee trucking knows you have to be close to the people. So uh, allowing me to get a little bit closer will allow my sales to go up, where versus if I had a two-group machine, I might be in the parking lot. Yes, I have the ability to deliver a lot, but unfortunately, because I'm so separated away from the people, I'm not getting the business that that machine um, uh, would be able to handle. So... I'm kind of losing out and having that one group machine allows me to get a little bit more tighter, a little bit more closer to some of these crowds. It also allows me to do things like weddings and corporate events where I can't haul in a loud generator. Um, so that's pretty nice. Um, being that it's a, a smaller espresso machine, um, I have I just bought this generator from Costco that's made for RVing. And it's it's a two 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 thousand eight hundred watts running thirty one peak, and this thing's so easy to to put on the front uh, tongue of my my trailer, so that's great because the setup with this thing is, is just so much easier. I'm not hauling around a big generator. Um, now that being said, uh, usually what I have to do is I have to steam a lot of milk ahead of time and keep the milk hot in either you know hot water dispensers or beverage dispensers. And uh, so if I'm dealing with like a crowd or something, that requires a lot more homework on my end. I have to get that milk hot. That way when I do get my rush, um, all I have to do is, is bring that milk up to temp, you know, say from maybe I have it at 130 sitting uh, and then I have to bring it up to 140, 150 so that I can get that, that sweeter flavor out of it. Um, and that's how we handle that issue when it comes to like the larger crowds on the smaller machine. Um, the negative thing with that is it's just it's not going to give you the output of a 220 so you're not going to handle a big crowd off of off of a 110 or excuse me off of one group machine um it just doesn't have that output um and i've i've worked some pretty with my one group machine i think the max i can get is about 30 drinks an hour um on my two group machine i mean we're steaming two 16 ounce lattes every give or take 30. If I got a second person on the on the other steam wand, we'll have four drinks out every 45 seconds. And you just, there's no way that one group can handle that. So, you know, if, if you're looking on being kind of a, you know, if you have like, say for example, smarter, smaller startup capital, um, your one group's gonna be about half the cost. Um, that generator is gonna be about the half the cost as well. So in terms of, you know, I only have a little bit of money to get started, you know, you may want to look into a one group first and then allow the one group to later on uh, buy a two group. That means you'll be buying twice, but it also means you'll have more versatility because you'll have two machines, one for festivals, one for indoor catering, um, which is what I have and it's kind of nice. Yes, I have two machines, but um, they're both used for different events. Um, if you are just looking on doing festivals and that's your main thing, like say I've heard some people want to just do like the festival loops and kind of chase around different large festivals, then in your, your main business is being transactions per hour, then, then you want to probably look into a two group and figure out how to deal with some of those issues of having a larger uh, generator and that type of thing and maybe how to quiet it down a little bit. Um, so it's it's kind of a it's kind of a a gray answer for a black and white question, and ultimately you got to kind of look at what is it exactly that you want to do, what kind of business do you want to run? Um, as of the late, if this helps, as of the late, uh, I just have my one group inside the truck, and my two group I keep um, outside or not outside the truck, but uh, stored. And if we go to do a festival, I'll put the two group inside. But um, on the day-to-day -day basis, um, I can run you know 50 to 100 drinks in a day off of my one group uh, espresso machine and feel just fine. I, I have to steam a little bit ahead of time and kind of uh, be on the ball game there. But um, being able to load a small generator that's quiet um, and being able to take the one group and move it indoors um, is is awesome, and it's something that I very much like. So um, that's what I've uh, that's what I have as of the late. 
Uh, I hope that answers some of your questions out there. I know this can be a, a difficult question on what to buy. Um, you know, I, I have both. And on my day-to-day, -day, I do use the one. And on my festivals, I pull out my two group. All right, I hope this helps. Um, subscribe if you like the video, you like the content, you want to see more of this. Um, if you have any questions, shoot them my way, greenjoecoffee at gmail.com. I have my ebook online, The Ultimate Guide to Building Coffee Trucks. Uh, it's worth the money. If you're really looking into this and you want the research, buy the book, check it out. Uh, I wish I had it when I started. It would have saved me a lot of headache. Okay, guys, um, great good luck to everyone, and, and I hope you guys do great out there.